The idea of creating these accessory units, as we call them, these countertop extenders, comes for a couple of reasons. One is Americans really can't get over the fact that our kitchen workstation furnitures aren't slammed up against each other and every three inch available space isn't used for something. So we've created different sizes of these to go along the sides and the backs of our workstations and they do a number of things very well. For example, in this case, this is a range piece and we put hot pots down on the, um, right down on the uh, stone tops here. But next to it here is a butcher block and you can use this for cutting and prep and everything else. Underneath, you can store this stool that I'm sitting on and you can pull that right up and if you wanna sit down and do some cutting, that's great. You have very few opportunities to do that in a built-in kitchen. The other things that can be used for that space right under there you can put this guy's little dog dishes under there, okay? Where do you put that in a normal kitchen? You can, uh, you could even put a dog bed under there. You could put um, a trash can under there if you didn't have a built-in trash can in one of the workstations. You know, so there's a number of things you can do with this. And besides that, the wall space in between can be used to hang a picture or, you know, a hook or something where you can, um, uh, you know, put some cooking utensils on a hook or whatever you want to do to personalize the space. Another way to extend the countertop next to any of our workstations is to get one of the um, commercially available butcher blocks. Uh, this one here is made by John Booz, has many different models. Uh, we can't build them as inexpensively as he can. These are probably about $300, something like that. Haven't checked on that price lately, but uh, the idea here is that if you have a workstation, this one here that you're looking at is a sink workstation, and you really don't want to, and it's a beautiful piece of furniture. We have beautiful wood on the countertops, but you really don't want to cut on those countertops. So you either use a movable cutting board we have cutting boards that fit over the sink. Um, but if you want to extend the countertop, uh, here's a beautiful way to do it with furniture. Another way to create extra counter space using our workstations is to actually build in the counter space right into the unit. Here's a 12 inch deep cupboard that can be used for many different things. It can be a china closet. It can be a small appliance garage. We're actually using ours as a dry bar. And you'll see here that uh, when we open up the door, it just uh, hinges down and you'll see what's inside. And it just hinges down like this. And there's a light inside which we can turn on. And uh, it has a solid surface countertop. So it holds up well against uh, regular kitchen work and um, spills, things like that. Um, again, we're using ours as a dry bar and has some vintage bottles of liquor in here. No clue as how old they are, but you know, they look kind of cool. It's in our showroom, so what can I say? But this is kind of neat too. Um, these hinges lock in place so that, you know, if you have wine glasses here and things, they, they actually won't spill. And so all you do uh, to get it back up is you can turn the light out these hinges just go up and we're back to normal this is another example of how additional counter space can be added to an ensemble of kitchen workstations this is one of our work tables it's actually the smallest one that we make and the countertop again can be quite different than the other workstations that you have this one has a butcher block top it's made for cutting it can be an island, it can be against the wall, and even better yet, it can be between two larger workstations. And because these things all have different dimensions and sometimes different colors and wood types, this is really a nice way to add variety into a kitchen. But these can get up to about seven feet long and they can be three feet wide. You can. Uh, the, the larger ones you can uh, pull up chairs to, 
and um, you can drop sinks into them. We have these where you can drop a cooktop into it and even with uh, downdraft ventilation. So our work tables are quite versatile. There's many models of them. Uh, there's different leg styles too. This one here is our shaker style and uh, but we also have some turned legs for a more English style. So versatility is the name of the game here and additional counter space uh, rather than endless banks of cabinets and countertops. This is the way it can be done with uh, kitchen workstations. This is an example of how to increase the countertop space between two major workstations. We have a whole uh, line of what we call infill units and they're designed to fill the gaps between major workstations. As you can see here, it's placed be in, right in front of a, a major window. It's act the window is actually lower than the countertop space. But these are designed to go between workstations. The countertop height is just a little bit lower and the depth of the cabinet is just less deep than the major workstations. And the idea there is that uh, this these uh, units will not compete with the styling of whatever workstations put next to it. In addition here you can see now this one here has a butcher block countertop and in addition to that we have one of our countertop extenders put onto the side of that which actually has a stone countertop. So here you could put a hot pot down on that and you could cut up things on the uh, butcher block uh, you can use the butcher block as a pastry prep area and you know make your biscuits and pie crust there and add a lot of utility to a uh, Yester Tech kitchen that's furnished with other workstations. For our Stealth Kitchen Modules line uh, we have these base units. Uh, this one actually is a mini kitchen and uh, the way that uh, we have kind of a unique way of extending their countertops uh, all we do is take the side of the unit and it pops up and becomes an extra countertop and this can be for prep space uh, with a medium height stool these can be a um, eating table so there's you know many ways to use these and then when it's ready to go down you just go like this it kind of goes down on a slow pace and then it pops right in and locks in place again if you find yourself needing some extra countertop space in the kitchen you already have this is kind of a neat way to do it it's a very simple thing we simply make a piece out of wood and it locks in place and you have a nice little extension there here we needed it for um, this is actually our kitchen and we need it for extra space for dirty dishes when we're you know washing a pile of them and uh, what the key to this is we have just one bracket underneath there and the key to making that work is to make sure that it is butted right up against the underside of this and that gives it you a three three piece um, or three points of support. These from the top, this from the bottom. Now on bigger ones, you would probably need two of these brackets, but they're very simple. You just, they go down and then they're out of the way. The bracket name is, uh, it's called Hoffman and uh, they come in two pieces, two piece black painted um, short release arms. So. You can Google that and find those. There's different colors too. If you have white, perhaps there's, you know, there's white or nickel plated. So, so there you go. That's a cool little idea and that can go in just about anybody's kitchen. Mm -hmm.